to Your Health, where we talk to local health leaders to help you feel better, live better, and be better. Hey everybody and welcome to To Your Health. Well, today we're going to talk about foot and ankle pain to help us through that. We are joined by Dr. Kazanik, a foot and ankle surgeon with PetaCare. Hi, doctor. Uh, thanks for having me. Yep, you bet. So let's just jump into it. People have a love and a hate affair sometimes with their ankles. I know that I do. So when we think about that, what are some of the most common foot and ankle problems that you are seeing? Uh, definitely the most common would be uh, would be the injuries to the foot and ankle. So uh, ankle sprains, strains, basic fractures, uh, sports injuries, Achilles tears, and then, uh, then the dreaded heel pain. Oh, that, yes, that heel pain that gets us all. So I think we have a hard time figuring out what's serious and when we should go see a doctor. Right, so obviously you should, you should listen to your body. Uh, you know it, you know it best. Um, uh, time to see a doctor would be when the pain uh, does not go away, when you can't put weight on it, or obviously if there's a there's an obvious injury or deformity. Yeah, and doctor, you've put together actually uh, five steps uh, for healthy foot and ankle. So let's go through those five steps. Mm -hmm. So the first step would be uh, you inspect your feet regularly and you should pay attention to the changes in color, texture, or appearance. Uh, the second step, uh, you should buy proper size shoes. Uh, you may not always wear the same size, so make sure to try shoes, uh, try the shoes on before, uh, before buying. Uh, purchase new shoes late in the day when the swelling is uh, minimal and always buy them, uh, always buy the shoes that feel the best. A third step would be, a third recommendation would be to uh, exercise. Walking is a great way to keep uh, your weight under control and it's an excellent condition for the feet. Also be sure to wear appropriate athletic shoes when exercising. A fourth step would be to uh, stretch properly and stretch frequently. Stretch your feet and stretch your toes. Uh, try to do a few simple stretches a day, such as the runner stretch, the calf stretch, uh, stretch when you're flexing, pointing the toes, rolling a tennis ball. It can really help with uh, circulation and uh, also reduce uh, the risk of cramps and uh, other foot problems. Well, doctor, sometimes it's those simple steps that help a lot of things. I know that stretching is a big thing. We think about that with our legs, think about that with the toes. So I want to thank you for all this great advice. And if anybody's experiencing any foot and ankle pain, Go to Theta Care, right? That's right. All right. Well, we were joined by Dr. Michael Kazanik, foot and ankle specialist with Theta Care. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, sir. The preceding was a paid advertisement.